afternoon. This is your career and finance reading for the forty-eight hours. Career and finance for forty-eight hours on this fine new moon day. Give us the true and precise messages for their career and finance, their money, their pentacles, their coins. True and precise messages for their career and finance. The magician. It's a good card to start with, right? You manifest whatever you want. Taking a leap of faith, somebody's looking or taking a new job or starting their own business, all the better, right? Good time for that. Ooh, not bad, not bad at all. Three more, please. Well, you're going to love what you're doing, evidently. <laughs> Very nice. Not too many coins. Actually, no coins. What's up with that? Well, good thing you have the manifestation of the magician. You're going to have to man... Oh, no, we have a coin right there. Okay, eight of coins. All right, so first up is the magician. You are starting fresh or you want to start fresh. You want to manifest a new job, new position. And for some, I'm getting that you're going to be starting your own business, perhaps online. Or something you're good at as an art artwork, something you create with your hand. See a, a paintbrush, a pencil. People are going to come to see your work. People are going to be drawn to you. Like the light. I see someone that's going to be a public, um, either show your work in public or a public speaker. Going to travel for this uh, new position, new job offer. just playing with the cards. Um, you're very passionate about it. It's going to blossom. It's going to take off fast. Um, you're going to go from, you know, to and before you know it, you're going to be uh, blossoming very fast with passion, love, um, good communication. Someone's going to, it's going to earn a lot of pentacles. you got a pentacle in that. Um, and you're going to be able to have enough to share with others, I see. You're really going to rise to the occasion um, rapidly. All right, that's what I get with the Magician card. I've actually had quite a bit. All right, so we're going to go with the King of Swords. You're, uh, listening to your spirit guides uh, in your truth, being in your true self. Awesome. That is amazing. A lot of growth around you. You're listening to your higher self. Um, you're one with your higher self. Someone's gone through transformation here. Um, yeah, you're really uh, stepping into your own six of swords here is leaving behind things that don't serve you. Flying out of the chaos and the mess, leaving behind to start, leave, not even thinking about it, just leaving the rest behind. You started this new, you're into your own, you've had a transformation. And so this is you leaving the old that's no longer serving you behind and all the chaos and emotion that went with it, you're you're out of there. Plain and simple, you're out of there. Great job. You uh, coming in as the full card that you are going to take take that leap or flight <laughs> um, of faith. Um, this spirit has dropped you an olive branch, and you're going to take it, accept it as a gift, and move forward. Um, you're going to have a lot of passion and love regarding this. The lotus pet flowers are here. 
um, trees in the background showing good growth and prosperity. Oh. You have King of Cups, you two kings, Ooh, and an empress. Maybe the empress has two kings. You never know. <laughs> All right, King of Cups. In the center of your reading, you are very over. You're filling your cup yourself. Thank you, Spirit. You're filling and nurturing yourself after you've had this transformation. You've started your own business. You are out of all that drama, out of there. You've got the olive branch. You're passionately moving forward to a new beginning. And you're filling your own cup. You're nurturing yourself. You're listening to your higher self. You've got your, you know how birds always. They have the chest or the breast there all popped up or puffed up. Um, not with ego, though, just with uh, self-confidence and courage, like you just found your new courage. Um, you are a fish out of water, or no longer a fish out of water. You are right where you belong, um, and it fills you with emotion, but, uh, but happily. Not in a sad emotion. It just fills you with so much joy that you will get emotional about it. Thank you. Wow. All right. Um, the Eight of Pentacles. You're working hard for this. Um, you put in your time. You put in your work but diligently. And you're showing the work that you do. You're displaying your artwork, whatever it is. Whether it's literally artwork is in the way you paint something, you draw you create something that you, whatever it is, you're displaying it for others to see. And you are working with it joyfully. Others are around and watching you with awe. Like, wow, we didn't know he could do that or she. Um, but it's going to have a lot of growth. Um, but you are happy. You're not, it's not stressing you. I think to work to do this, you, work, you do it with joy. You were split between two decisions. Um... Okay. We have to make a decision here. With regarding travel and leaving, I mean, you understand everything was going good here. <laughs> so you started new, you had the transformation, you're in your own, you depart that mess and chaos you become the fool you take the olive branch with passion you are filling your cup of love and working hard and loving it and then you come to a crossroads of two of swords making a decision do I go back no don't go back don't even look back don't look behind you don't look back do not go back <laughs> Perhaps when you departed, you left your loved one behind you. Because there's coldness here. You traveled over the mountains, but there's coldness between the two decisions, the two, the two mountains. So you left someone you cared about behind you when you took off to do this new thing. You... Perhaps you had to find yourself, nurture yourself, fill your own cup first before you can share your love with others. That's perfectly what you're supposed to do. So the decision to go back, I um, mean, for a divine feminine or divine masculine, contact them and reach out. They can join you. Come to a mutual agreement, connect with one another again and start slowly. But if you're being successful, at this new beginning and it's filling your cup with this much joy don't go back have them come to you which is, I think is what you're going to do because or you're going to at least reach out and give them the choice let them be the one making the decision to come to you or meet halfway but it's going to bring you ten of cups it's going to bring you joy with that person that you want to grow old with. Here you're in the spring and on the branch with your partner. And you're, you built your nest egg. So you're over here with your partner. It's going to be blossoming together. Rainbows. Everything you could dream of. You're going to be singing like a bird. Like a canary. So don't go backwards. Contact them and have them come with you. So that you get your ten of cups. 
Unconditional love doesn't stop because of the miles between you. She's your empress. She will birth that new beginning. See, she's going to travel to see where you are. She's willing to travel the miles with you. But because she knows that's the sun and the love of her life. You are her ten of cups. You are her dream cup star. What? Dream come true. You are her. Okay, dream come true. Uh, is that <laughs> nine of cups? Options, but filling your cup with all your cups was just over joyous with abundance and anything. This isn't so much about choices. Is abundance and so much that you have a choice of what to do now. You have freedom to choose what you want. Not about filling someone else's cup. Not about whose cup to fill. Not about the keys to someone else's heart. This is about you being so successful after you've been, filled your own cup. You meet up with the love of your life. You nurture it together. And that brings you abundance and everything. It's like the sun card. I like it. I like it for you all. Clarify the magician. Clarify the magician. Okay, you got the Eight of Wands and the Moon. The Eight of Wands is communication coming in. And the Moon card is um, healing oneself, understanding the um, science behind this journey, but the science that of why you feel tied to that significant other. And I say that because of the cards surrounding this. This other one's popped out. Putting an end to the Ten of Swords in the back. Focused on your work and how you can make that work. Receiving or sending messages to the one you really are thinking about. Even though you're trying to stay busy working, you're really thinking about messaging someone else. Okay, the King of whoops, King of Swords. listening to spirit, being in your truth, being true to yourself, nurturing, good growth. This is an amazing card for you, but you left someone out in the cold, five of cups. You know that you left that person behind, but that's okay. You have to fill your cup and nurture you. And if it's meant to be, then that person will understand, especially if this is a divine counterpart. Or this is you tired of being left out in the cold, and so that's why you left it could be for two different people. Two different groups could be two different ways. The Hermit. The Six of Swords. You went in as a hermit. You followed your light. Took the path to the calmer waters between the mountains to enjoy um, Spirit's guidance down this narrow path. Full card. Full card took an, a chance. Four of coins for stability. Going to work hard on your own. You're tired of crawling on your belly in the weeds of Ten of Wands. You're putting an end to having to crawl on your belly for every penny you make. You're tired of being out in the cold, having to um, pinch pennies. The Empress is here again with you. Um, is a page of wands. You're communicating with the Empress. She's birthing a new beginning, bringing in the harvest emotionally. And you want to be st but bring earn a st stable up. Uh, Bring her a stable offer, I hear. That came out difficult. All right, the hangman. He went in to see this from another perspective. How can you do this? Divinely timed and mirroring one another, you decided to move this forward and have the sun card in your favor. The king of cups. 
in a cup. I've got a great 48 hours coming. Maybe I'll go with you. Wherever you're traveling to here, I'm gonna I'm gonna flee with you. Yeah, the Queen of Cups bringing in their harvest, seven of coins. They've worked hard. The rainbow is here. Harvest time is here to bring it in. To nurture what you have built. And put an end to the fighting for everything. So that you can celebrate. Celebrate. Five, six, seven, eight of coins. Clarify eight of coins. Eight of coins, eight of pentacles. And eight is a guaranteed ten. With your Queen of Cups and making a decision, that Three of Wands again. And here we have the decision being made as well. You want that ship to come in regarding the Queen or the Empress. Oh, okay. Regarding the Queen or the Empress. <laughs> Here's your decision to be made. But the Empress is all four queens, so let's not go there. You know, it could be, even though there are three wands, it just means decisions and travel. But the em queen, all four queens equal the Empress. So she might be the queen there, but she develops into the Empress in the end. We'll go with that for some. <laughs> for some, they may have a decision between two. But somebody wants the Ten of Cups to be loyal with one another, filling those cups, their happy ever after, with passion and loyalty. Here's their decision to be made. Will she follow me? Yeah, bringing them in out of the cold. Offering that love. Having the strength. So that the wheel can turn forward. Okay, ten. What's this one? This is the Ten of Cups one. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Time for rest and rejuvenation so that you're ready when she arrives. <laughs> With the Ace of Wands, New Beginning, Nine of Cups, that almost fulfillment. You know that. The Empress, Empress is the one that fills you and nourishes you. Regardless to who else is here to try, you know that the only cup here is for the Empress and the High Priestess. Yes, because you're the King of Swords in your power. This is beautiful. Judgment is here. That rebirth for the two of you. And the King of Cups or Swords offers that Ace of Cups to the Empress so that their chariot can move, follow the light and move forward. Temperance is here balancing those things out with the page of coins making a new offer to the Queen of Wands. Yeah, the Empress is the four queens. It just depends on which day she feels like she's the wands or the swords. <laughs> Alright, Knight of Swords being in his truth. Anything else for Page of Swords and the Two. She holds the key to your heart and your treasure. I'm really surprised that High Priestess didn't come out. Oh, maybe it didn't. I didn't see it.
Weird. Okay. Maybe it did. Okay. Spirit, what messages would you like to reflect regarding this amazing couple days ahead of them? This is beautiful. What a way to start the new moon. Which it does bring in positive things. As the magician manifests it, when on this new moon today, manifest this new beginning for yourself. What would you like for the divine manifestations, divine feminines to know? Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, the Priestess, Mystic Teacher. And the masculine is birthing the new age. Birthing a new creation, dreaming a new world into being. These are great. Especially since you're starting a new business here and creating something beautiful, right? Divine feminine message, please. A message for the feminine. Okay. Apostle to the Apostle. I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. Masculine, please. The saint of authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. Perfect. That's exactly why this abundance is coming through because someone went into their authentic self, their truth. I recognize suffering in order to release it. Curiosity breeds compassion. Spirit wanted me to share many messages today. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no, we didn't want to get busy. Awareness. Be in your awareness. Be in your authentic self. Wisdom, uh, the other reading got this as well. This is about wisdom, loyalty. Um, study the, what you need to learn to teach others, but be in your mission, be in your sole purpose. That's what that's about. And that's what this reading, to me, that's what that sole purpose would make you this successful. And that's exactly what this feels like. If someone chose to be in their sole purpose or mission and create something to uh, share with others, and it was successful and it was abundant. Yes, positive movement forward for you. Transformation, absolutely. I know this is the week of transformation. That's what the uh, reading earlier was about as well. Alright, so this is what I have for you for career and finance. It looks awesome. I hope you have a blessed day.